This screencast explains how to create common data elements. Once you're logged in as admin, you can hover over the registry tab to the left and click on data elements. You'll see the data elements that have already been defined listed here. To add a new one, click on add data element. We're going to fill in the code again using the same prefix as before fill in the name that you would like to be visible on the form. For data type, there are a number of data types that can be used. Refer to the documentation to decide which is applicable. In this case for gender, it's going to be range. If the data type is range, you need to indicate the permitted value group. In this case, it was demo gender. If it's a range, you can also indicate whether multiple options are allowed. Here, we won't tick this box. And there are also some validation rules as well. If you want to continue adding more common data elements, you can click Save and add another. This time, we're going to make use of the date widget. The data type is date, and under widget it is called the date widget. Finally, we'll add in an integer common data element. So the data type is integer. And let's set some validation rules here. Say the minimum value will be 1, and the maximum value can be 100. If you want any instructions to also appear on the form, fill it in here. So we're going to indicate that the age must be in years. And click on Save once you're finished. The next step is to create a section and then to compile sections into forms.